The guest is Mr. Rip Patton, and the topic is the Freedom Ride, and of course Mr. Patton is a Freedom Ride participant. Uh, as a Freedom Rider, uh, uh, Mr. Patton, let's give our audience some idea in terms of what you were uh, trying to uh, achieve and, 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 and the obstacles that segregation had already dealt in reference to what you wanted to do. Okay, as you know, in that time, everything was separate. Uh, for example, if you're Nashvilleian, you know that when you went downtown to shop, you had separate restrooms, separate water fountains, you could not eat in the facilities that they had in the five and dime stores. Well, they had the same thing in the bus terminals, Trailway and Greyhound. Mm -hmm. When you got up, well, you had to sit in the back of the bus for one thing. Mm -hmm. Secondly, when you reached your destination, if you wanted to go in and have a sandwich mm -hmm. or refresh yourself, you had to follow the signs that said colored. Mm -hmm. And according to the law, that was against the law. Mm -hmm. Uh, the federal law that allowed you as as a passenger on the bus mm -hmm. or an airplane mm -hmm. you were supposed to be able to use the facilities mm -hmm. you should be able to go into the front door mm -hmm. use the restroom of choice mm -hmm. and to use uh, the lunch counter mm -hmm. but uh, that's what the core that's what core was testing mm -hmm. to make sure that these walls had fallen, fallen uh, down mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, so there were people who resisted this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. First, I must tell you that uh, they didn't just get on a bus or two buses mm -hmm. and ride. Mm -hmm. This was one of those things that we found out in Nashville was that the uh, FBI mm -hmm. had to know at all times what was going on. Mm -hmm. You had to call the FBI and let them know that you were moving from point A to point B mm -hmm. and give names and how many people mm -hmm. for your protection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing that you must realize too is that all FBI are not the same. Oh, mm -hmm. I so as you get deeper and, and deeper, deeper into the south, south, that FBI might be a Ku Klux Klan mm -hmm. person or he might know somebody mm -hmm. or his feelings might be of he might be a staunch segregationist mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so when we told the FBI when Nashville got into the Freedom Ride mm -hmm. as I stated earlier uh, Jim Farmer asked Diane Nash mm -hmm. not to send anyone else mm -hmm. let's stop it right here mm -hmm. it's too dangerous mm -hmm. she said to him that if you let the bully Mm -hmm. know that he has bullied you and scared you into stopping we'll mm -hmm. never get anywhere mm -hmm. so we're going Nashville is going to continue mm -hmm. this freedom ride so one of the problems that we had as students was trying to raise the money mm -hmm. and so we went to uh, SCLC mm -hmm. to uh, raise money to send 10 people mm -hmm. on the freedom ride to continue that mm -hmm. freedom ride mm -hmm. Uh, we met at First Baptist, and I don't know how many hours we mm -hmm. talked back and forth about why we should go. Mm -hmm. Of course, the adults said it was too dangerous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you've seen what happened in Anderson mm -hmm. and Birmingham. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to do this? Mm -hmm. Well, finally, they gave in and wrote us a check. Mm -hmm. We needed $900 for 10 <laughs> students. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The check needed two signatures. Mm -hmm. They only had one person there to sign the check. Mm -hmm. And just to so show you, just like in the sit-ins, the whole